So today's video, I wanted to share one of my biggest beauty secrets that I've been doing for a few years now and I can't believe I've never made a video on it, but that beauty secret is baking soda. Now baking soda is super amazing. If you go on Pinterest, you can find hundreds and hundreds of uses for it, like home remedies and everything. But I'm just going to share three beauty tips I use baking soda for and I absolutely love it and this is like a holy grail item. So one of the things that you can use baking soda for is to whiten your teeth. Um, there's two ways you could do this. Some people get hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and kind of make a paste out of it and brush their teeth with that after they brush your teeth normally with toothpaste. And if you do that, um, I believe every day, then you can get white teeth. But I do it the kind of lazy way. I kind of just get my toothbrush put some toothpaste in it and dip it into the baking soda and brush my teeth like that every day and I don't know I feel that it whitens my teeth and it's really really great for that baking soda for is in exfoliant for my face. Um, I have really really dry skin lately. I don't know why. I think it's because I moved down to SoCal and I'm kind of in like the desert area and my skin is super dry compared to before. Before I used to be oily but now my skin is super dry and I have to exfoliate quite a bit because I always get like these dry skin cells all over my face and you kind of see it sometimes and it's really really gross so so many people use the St. Ives apricot scrub um, including my sister and um, sometimes I will use that but I find that when I rub it in it's just super abrasive to my skin and I really cannot stand the smell of it I usually love St. Ives product but the apricot scrub I just feel like it's way too harsh for my skin so that's why I use baking soda. I just mix it into my face wash. You don't want to apply it straight on because I feel it's a little bit too abrasive. But if you mix it into your face wash, um, you just get the perfect exfoliant. And seriously, my face, my skin is like glowing afterwards because you just literally removed all those nasty dead skin cells on top of your skin. My last beauty tip with baking soda is um, the best lip exfoliants. People usually use like sugar honey scrubs for their lips or even buy lip exfoliants which I don't know why because it's super expensive. So I have really really dry lips and I always moisturize my lips all the time like with Vaseline, EOS lip balm or Burt's Bees but sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes you just have like dead skin flakes on your lips and you just need to like slough off all those first before you can apply your lipstick so some lipsticks when I put it on seriously you could see every crack in my lips and you can see some of the dead skin on it and just putting moisturizer on it is not enough because you have to take that off especially with this um, Maybelline whisper lipstick this one every time I put this on you can my lips always seem to be super dry and you can see like the dead skin on my lips which is really really gross so what I do is just take some water and make a paste with the baking soda and you want to lightly scrub your lips and I mean lightly because one time I just like went to town on my lips because my lips were super dry and then afterwards um, some parts kind of cracked on my lips and it just really hurts so don't take this stuff lightly it's really powdery but it is abrasive if you rub too hard um, so you just want to take it and gently rub your lips with it and afterwards your lips will be super smooth and you will just have a much better application when you apply your lipstick. I hope that's pretty much my absolute favorite beauty secret and the best thing about it is you can get a box of this for a dollar or even less and it will last you forever. I literally keep a box of baking soda in my medicine cabinet and I'm always using it like every single day for multiple uses. So I hope you guys enjoy this and leave a comment below if you're going to try it or if you already knew this tip or whatnot. And don't forget to like and subscribe my video and I want to talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.